Here we go again. Another week, another book. A weekly series where I let you guys in on what I'm reading and loving and short because you don't really have the time. Today, we're talking about Tigana by Guy Gabriel K. I first discovered this author with this very book. It was while I was listening to one of Brandon Sanderson's lectures on the craft of writing that Brandon mentioned Guy Gabriel K citing him as being one of the best around. So because of my respect for Sanderson, I put this author on my to-read list. And when I finally got around to it, I began Tigana. Time for the rundown. In Tigana, the very word Tigana cannot be said. It's the name of a once prosperous land that was conquered by an evil king and cursed so that its name would be lost forever. The magic keeps the word from anyone's tongue or memory, and natives of Tigana are forced to live being the only ones to remember it. Years later, a band of rebels embark on a crusade to overthrow this evil king and bring back the name of their lost home. That's the pitch, but the book goes a lot deeper than that. We get rich viewpoints from characters like Dianora, who serves as a concubine to this evil king while she herself is an unknown survivor of Tigana. Or Devon, a traveling singer who gets roped into the plot to overthrow this king seemingly by accident. Tigana is historically inspired fantasy, so the land in this book is called the Peninsula of the Palm and it closely resembles Renaissance Italy. Guy Gabriel K is known for weaving gorgeous worlds that blend the fantastic and the real, with a level of immersion due to his deep knowledge of history that whisks the reader away to another time entirely. Tigana is no exception. In fact, of all the K novels I've read, Tigana might be the strongest. There's something about the way that Kay writes in this novel, harnessing the beauty of the land that it's about to deliver an experience that takes you somewhere completely new. In this novel, there are a good deal of scenes in which characters will perform songs, each of them spilling from the page with true poetry, both in the songs they sing and the way that Kay describes them. Music and culture like this are a brilliant catalyst for magnificent prose, and Kay doesn't miss the opportunity to utilize it. Tigana is classical fantasy, released in 1990. It has few of the tentpoles now common in modern work which has its pros and cons, but it makes for a really great change of pace if you've been reading a lot of contemporary fantasy. Kay has a lot to offer, especially for aspiring writers. There is much to study. His words on the page are the work of a seasoned master. And I think it's important, even in 2020, with all of the new fresh fantasy coming out, to take trips back and appreciate what came before. Tigana is not perfect. It's dated and doesn't always reflect the times that we live in now. But that doesn't stop it from being a story worth reading. This book, like the land which our protagonists fight to save, is worth remembering. Thank you guys for watching this one. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to leave a like and a subscribe and check out the book Tigana by Guy Gabriel K. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.